Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. Well, it's been long enough. If you haven't seen the Avengers trailer by now, I don't even know what you're doing with your life. It's looking like they'll be showing the Justice League how to make a film, and I am absurdly psyched. But there were a lot of reveals in this trailer, so it can get a bit overwhelming to remember. Let's go over them. If you want to see Cap's beard, I already talked about it in Top 10 Superhero Beards, linked down below. Now, get ready, it's time for the Top 10 Details You Missed in the Avengers Infinity Wars trailer. Number 10. Thanos has two Infinity Stones. When we see Thanos, he's just adding the Space Stone to the Gauntlet, giving him two. The Power Stone, which he must have taken from the Nova Corps, gives him immense strength and destructive ability, while the Space Stone lets him travel to other worlds and dimensions. We also see someone trying to remove Vision's Mind Stone, more on that later, which could bring him to three. Some even theorize that he might have the Time Stone, since Strange, Banner, and Wong look kind of frozen in the one scene, but I can't get into that right now. Gotta go on. Number 9. The Black Order. Nobody was surprised when we saw Vision having his Mind Stone forcibly removed. We kind of figured that's what Thanos was doing on Earth. But based on the yellow staff being used on Vision, it looks like it wasn't Thanos himself taking it from him, but Corvus Glaive, who's part of Thanos' Black Order. We also caught a glimpse of Proxima Midnight, and with a big battle occurring with the Wakanda, it seems like the Black Order will be playing a huge part. Which is awesome, because they're so sick. Black Dwarf for life. Number 8. Outriders. Another awesome moment for comic fans was when we saw Black Panther fighting what must have been an Outrider. As some people thought it was a Chitauri, but it actually looks like one of the genetically engineered humanoid creatures often used by Thanos. We didn't get a perfect look at it, but if they look anywhere near as terrifying as they do in the comics, we're in for a treat. Number 7. Spidey Sense. A lot of fans were weirded out that Homecoming kind of glossed over the whole Spidey Sense thing, but it looks like it will be in play in the new Avengers film. I'm glad to see it, and it pretty much summed up my reaction to the trailer, but personally I didn't like the way they introduced it. He seemed so shocked, even though he has presumably had his spider sense for ages. And then he took so long to actually look out the window. What if there was a missile going towards him or something? You're supposed to have crazy reflexes and you go... <gasps> Ah! Side note, I'm like 99% sure Tony's all sad because Peter got hurt and Tony will sacrifice himself to save him. And I swear I thought of that before Nerdist did their video. Number 6. Thor and the Space Forge The trailer gave us a few pretty huge hints about Thor. We know that he's with the Guardians, and we know from an interview with Chris Pratt that the Guardians will be playing a secondary role in the film. This has led some to believe that they might be taking Thor to Nidavellir, or however that's pronounced, the home of the dwarf blacksmiths, where they'll forge a new weapon for him. The scene of Thor struggling with a piece of machinery could be his attempt at forging a new weapon. And maybe, just maybe, that weapon will be Yarnbjorn, his axe. God, I hope it's Yarnbjorn. Number 5. Sticking with the teen Groot. To the dismay of some fans, the short glimpse we caught of Groot at the end of the trailer showed us that it would be another movie with everyone's favorite teenage floral colossus. That said, I'm thinking we might just see Groot finally use his chlorokinesis to full effect. While in the films he seems to take quite a long time to grow, in the comics he can grow pretty much instantly. Maybe we'll see a clutch last minute save with Teen Groot stepping up. Daddy's home. Number 4. Black Widow is blonde. No. Just no. Black Widow has red hair. I don't care if she needed to go undercover. If you make Black Widow have blonde hair, she becomes Black Canary. I know blondes have more fun, but she doesn't need to have fun. She's flipping Black Widow. Leave the blondness to Cap. Yes, it is a big deal. It's literally unwatchable. Number 3. No more Winter Soldier. We only had a few short glimpses of Bucky, but what we did see was a very welcome sight. It seems that Bucky's cybernetic arm no longer has the star on the shoulder that symbolized his ties to the old communist bosses. While it's definitely just speculation right now, it seems like the Wakanda may have been successful in de-brainwashing him, which is amazing. Number 2. Get this man a shield. <laughs> definitely not doing the acting for that one. One of the most goosebump inducing moments for me was seeing T'Challa call for a new shield for Cap. And we get this man a shield. He's finally back and he has a beard. Boss. But some people might not know that this is actually a callback to the origins of Cap's shield. Way back in 1941, Captain America impressed T'Chaka, T'Challa's father, and T'Chaka gave Steve the vibranium that would be used to make his shield. Guess the Wakanda will always have Cap's back. Number 1. 
War Machine's back. After Rhodey's accident at the end of Civil War, fans were unsure if we'd be seeing him back in action. But in the shot of the heroes in the Wakanda running out to battle, we can definitely see War Machine flying alongside them. It's hard to say if he's regained the use of his legs, or if the suit gives him the ability, like the grandpa on Spy Kids 3, but he's almost definitely back. I guess it's possible that somebody else is in the suit, but let's be real, it's Rhodey. I hope. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Nerd for more videos. On a scale of 9.5 to 10, how excited are you for Infinity Wars? Let me know in the comments section down below. I know I left out a few big moments like Human Vision and Iron Spider, but there was just so much revealed that I couldn't fit it into 10 points. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Top 10 Nerd. Later, nerds.